we'll get there. Okay. Yesterday in the mail, I got a paper from Amira Group. My daughter traditionally, my daughter has traditional Medicaid. Um, if you don't know her story, she was born one pound zero point nine ounces. She is a miracle. She is a blessing. She is everything to me. So she gets disability for her chronic lung disease. And she's been on traditional Medicaid receiving SSI disability. So she got a paper. I received a paper in the mail yesterday from a mirror group. A mirror group was saying that we were partnering to help your child manage her condition, which is asthma. Which she does have asthma, but her condition is chronic lung disease. Okay. I didn't think anything of it. Read the paper. I was like, okay, why is the mirror group helping her when normally it's, you know, I don't know if it's smoothie or not. Anyway, so then today I get a paper in the mail. It is from the Attorney General. Yes. Oh, that movie's stupid. That's horrible. Oh, he, this boy went like this. I don't need to know. He got mad. If I wanted to watch it, I would be in there. If I wanted to watch it, I would be in there. No, put that iPad down. Okay, so today I got a paper from the Attorney General stating that I have an appointment. Will you go away? Stating that I have an appointment on October 12th for my daughter's father. I've told you before that my boy's father is already on child support. But we rarely receive child support. He just started paying child support. And also today, I got a child support check from him for $23. So that means that he either has stopped working, they fired him, whatever the case is. If I get a child support payment for $23, I already know what that is. The next one will be zero. Um, so I think he's been paying it for about a month now. Um, but when I was talking to my mom, not to criticize him and not to get off topic, but the government is bankrupt. And so now they're trying to find every opportunity to also bankrupt people. They can't, um, it's just really going to get worse from this point. It's not going to get any better. And I see it. I see all the things that are happening that let me know that this is what's happening. Okay, so today I get a paper. Says I have an appointment on October 12th. Now, I did not apply for uh, child support on my daughter's father. Um, as a matter of fact, as I was telling my mom earlier, I didn't even want to put my boy's father on child support. It's just whenever he would get paid, he wouldn't give me anything. And we did this rodeo thing for about four times. And then after the fourth time I failed, the attorney, they, the attorney general said that they were not going to pick the case up anymore, which was a lie too, now that I think about it. But anywho, and right now he owes me about $50,000. My Okay. I be talking as if y'all know what the hell I'm saying, and y'all don't know what the hell I'm saying. I have three kids. My two boys is by one person, and my daughter is by another person. My two boys' father, he owes me about $50,000 in child support. So, he wanted to give me 5000 and asked if I would take him off child support. I told him, no, he can give me ten, and then I would take him off. So, anyway, that's that situation. Okay, but with my daughter's father, I never applied for child support with her father. Her father doesn't have a job. He is not going to be able to pay child support. And plus, I don't even want to put him on child support because that shit is not beneficial. They ain't even... They're not securing anything because my boy's father pays child support every now and then. So, I don't understand why I would need their assistance. I'm just going to say it like that. But they... She said... If you ever receive government assistance, 
which about a year ago, it had to be over a year ago, I was getting food stamps for a short period of time. And as I told, when I called them, I was like, I don't need y'all help with child support. I was like, I don't want that. He was like, well, you still have to come to the appointment on the 12th. I was like, no, the fuck I don't because I didn't ask y'all for shit. So you going to force me to come to, you know, a child support hearing that I'm telling you I don't need y'all services. So he was like, let me talk to your caseworker. He clicks over. He called a caseworker. The caseworker says, um, I understand that you were having an issue with your child. I said, yes, I don't get food stamps. I don't plan on getting food stamps because anytime you get any type of government assistance, they feel like they can get all up in your business. I said, so therefore, I don't feel like I need to come to this hearing. I feel like you forcing me to come to a hearing when I don't even get food stamps. She was like, oh, well, I guess you got it before, and our systems don't show that you don't get it anymore. That's a lie, too. You didn't check your system, but if you check your system, I don't get food stamps. I don't want food stamps. I don't want child services. I don't want any of this shit. So she was like, okay, just fax me over something. But the thing is, they were going to try to force me, and they said if I didn't go to the hearing, then they would just... Render a court order. What the fuck? Where the fuck do they do that shit at? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. That's it. That. So, I'm trying to see who backyard I can live in. Because I don't want to give all my money that I do have to the landlord every month. And then be without anything. I'm just really about to go and get me a fucking tent. I'm going to give me a tent, and me and my kids going to live in somebody's backyard in a tent. That's how I feel. Or else my boyfriend going to have to come back and watch the kids because I'm not sending them to public school. I am anti-government anything. I'm anti-everything at this point. Like... Yeah, so, um, I'm finna have to get back on the plantation, which is a job that ain't nothing but a plantation. I'm researching what is the cheapest type of shelter that you can live in. Because, like, I'm, I'm over a lot of shit that America is trying to, to, to. I told y'all it's going to be all over the place. Sorry if y'all can't follow, but... Went to the food market today. They had a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Yep. That's what I'm about to be researching. A job and... Portable living space. Oh my eye issue.